In this video, let's see the algebraic interpretation of Rolle's theorem. We already know what are the three conditions on which Rolle's theorem works. We also know what you mean by Rolle's theorem geometrically. This video is dedicated to the algebraic interpretation of Rolle's theorem. According to it, we have fx as a polynomial function. fx being a polynomial function will always be continuous and differentiable. So that is what is written fx as a polynomial. And we also have supposedly the roots given to us. For a polynomial function, we have been given there are two roots a and b. If that is the case, fx is a polynomial, the roots are a and b. What do you mean by the zeros of a polynomial or the roots of a polynomial? As we started in our class 9th, in the chapter number 2, it says that the zeros of a polynomial means or the roots of the polynomial means whatever values we put in the polynomial function and it make the value of the whole polynomial 0. So if a and b are the roots of the polynomial, they are put in fx, they give me 0, so that means f of a and f of b both are equal to 0. So now, till now what I have, I have a polynomial function, I have two roots and the roots when put in the polynomial function make its value 0. So when these three conditions are satisfied because the polynomial function, polynomial function means it is continuous, polynomial function means it is differentiable that we studied in our previous videos. The third condition of Rolle's theorem is f of a should be equal to f of b that we have already seen. So that means what? All three conditions of Rolle's theorem are satisfied. So my Rolle's theorem is satisfied. Till here I have done that. Now if Rolle's theorem is satisfied, it says that there exists at least one real number c belonging to a b such that f dash c equal to 0. That is the condition of Rolle's theorem. That is what is meant by Rolle's theorem. Now remember one thing. If f dash c equal to 0, does that not mean that f dash x is equal to 0 at x is equal to c? Actually right, because f dash c equal to 0 means what? That the derivative is 0 at x is equal to c. So it is the case. So that means at x is equal to c, I am getting 0 in f dash x. So x is equal to c is also a root. c is also a root of f dash x. Yes, so that is also clear. Now, after all this stuff that we have done and understood, what else can we interpret? So, algebraic interpretation would be like the algebraic interpretation of the Rolle's theorem. In short, after all this thing means that between any two values, say a and b, between any two values which make the function 0, that means between any two roots of a polynomial function, there is always a root, there is compulsorily at least one root and that is the root of its derivative. That means that is about C. So that is the algebraic interpretation or algebraic interpretation of Rolle's theorem.